We're gonna move rapidly through this one. This is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go over some interesting quirks and facts about Winston-Salem. Some of these are gonna be helpful if you're thinking about moving here. Some of these will just be interesting to know. Back when it was just Salem, before it was Winston-Salem, Old Salem held the first celebration of Independence Day in our nation's history. And that was way back on July 4th, 1783. Yes, Winston-Salem held the first ever recorded celebration of Independence Day in the country. All right, next, the difference between the urban areas and surrounding areas in Winston-Salem can be quite surprising. What I mean by that is you can be in right in the center of downtown, right downtown Bailey Park, and then 15 minutes later, you can be way out in the countryside or even in rural North Carolina just in a very short period of time. And one of the things I love about Winston-Salem is it can have so many different looks and you can be so many different places in such a quick amount of time, especially for a small city. Take a look at this reel that we have on our Instagram, living in Winston-Salem, and you can see what I mean. so many interesting things in, in diverse places to be in such a small geographical area. It's one of the reasons why you have a great variety of housing options throughout the city and suburbs, but it's also why you're basically always 10 minutes from everything. With the second phase of Innovation Quarter now underway, Winston-Salem has moved up to the number seven space in the entire United States for construction in the Life Sciences Department. There's a huge path of growth and construction in Winston-Salem in life sciences. This puts the city up there with places like Boston and San Francisco in the national rankings. As the life sciences sector continues to grow, Winston-Salem is finding itself in a great spot and that I think will be good for the city, especially as we move through the long term. And I also love just how the city really embraces the city of arts and innovation motto. This innovation is going to place Winston-Salem in a really good spot in years to come. All right, next for a town that was largely built on tobacco and is still a home to a very large tobacco company to this day. People don't really mention the T word here. That's just something that's not talked about. You'll be driving along and sometimes you'll see a tobacco farm, but I have found out uh, that th that word is just not really used or it is the industry is just not talked about that much outside of course of people that work at may work at RJ Reynolds. And contrary to my tr what you might've read, no, it doesn't smell like cigarettes in the town or anything like that. But I do find it interesting how that word is just really not mentioned very much around here. I mean, I've been here for a little over five years now and hardly ever, ever hear it talked about outside of somebody working directly for the company. And that mentioning includes some of the positive things that the Reynolds family has done for the city of Winston-Salem. They've donated huge tracts of land, they've built schools, museums, and on and on. They've done a ton of things for this city over the years. And it just seems like a lot of that is not talked about either. It's probably just because of the whole maybe taboo about the whole subject in general, but interesting to know. Next, Winston-Salem, North Carolina was just named the number one place in the state to buy a house. This was according to niche.com. They did these rankings based on a variety of different factors like affordability, overall quality of life, and city amenities and amenities nearby. If you need help doing that, my information is flashing on the screen right now, but it's also in the description below. But it's really been interesting to see Winston-Salem go from a place of, really, you're moving to Winston-Salem just five or six years ago when I was thinking about moving here to where it is right now, ranked the number one place in the state to buy a home. Really interesting to see the city moving forward. And next, speaking of affordability, Winston-Salem, depending where you check, has a cost of living that is about 10 to 15% below the national average. Yes, even with how costs have gone up, even here through the years, especially in housing, with we're seeing the prices rise these last few years, Winston-Salem in general not only has a much lower cost of housing overall versus the national average, but still about 10 to 15% below the national average for overall cost of living as well. Where I hear people that are saving a lot of money besides just housing, costs here. I hear that, you know, things like fuel, insurance, and utilities are also a place where they're saving some pretty good money versus where they're coming from. Here's an insider tip. Don't tell anyone about this, but if you're downtown and you want simple paid public parking, plus a great spot to get some rooftop pictures, check out the Cherry Marshall deck at 402 North Cherry Street, right downtown. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Next, we have to talk about the weather and one thing to know about this, maybe you know this already, but it can be 70 degrees in December, but it can also be 70 degrees in the middle of May, or it can be 45 degrees in the middle of May. You have to prepare. The winter sometimes here does just stretch out longer than you think it would for the South. But a benefit of that, since we are far enough North in the South, which is trademarked, 
We don't have the issues that a lot of the cities and states further south of us do with large bugs, giant snakes, and everything like that. I will take that trade off all day, every day. Next tip about Winston-Salem that you might not know is we tend to gather at Lowe's Foods because they have a beer den. They have great deals on beer and fried chicken. Yes, they do. It's a great spot to hang and meet and have a cold one after work. Surprisingly enough, is your local grocery store. And next, you might have known this one before, but we shamelessly take credit for the Empire State Building. Winston-Salem did get a Father's Day card actually from the Empire State Building on its 50th birthday saying, thank you, Dad. The story behind that, if you didn't know, the same firm that designed the Empire State Building actually designed the Reynolds Building a year or two prior to the Empire State Building. So yes, technically, the Reynolds Building is the father of the Empire State Building in New York City. If you want a part two of a video like this, let me know. Winston-Salem is rich with all kinds of quirky facts and history. And if you're looking to buy or sell real estate anywhere in the area, I'd love to be a resource for you. You can reach out to me directly at jeff at govalentino.com. Thanks.